soaking your feet okay at least i use it in a different way and it works for me but i use the dr teal pure epsom salt soaking solution and this is the rose essential oil calm and serenity serenity okay and it helps ease with the aches and the soreness from the muscles so that's why i use this one i also use the lavender scent one those two are my number one priority in order to set the mood in the bathroom when i'm gonna go take the shower so what i do depending if i'm gonna take a bath then i pour a couple of scoop of it in the bathtub as it's getting full or if i'm getting a shower i still use it because what i do i set the shower i put it in the right um settings for me i love taking hot shower because it suits my body and i will take a couple of spoon of of it and i will throw it and i'll sprinkle it at the bottom of the top and i just let the water run on top of that to create that smell, like um fog of smell and set the mood in the bathroom um if i have a candle i will light up a candle in the sink and let it run um i have i choose to have lavender calypso or anything lavender and vanilla scent because again we looking for coffee relaxation mode okay so i got the coffee and whiskey this is some new ones that they had on the holidays and you can tell look i love it so much that it's already gone it set the mood tone for what i needed it for i'm sure that the, my body products that i'm using are also lavender scent or either rose um scent or either um, lavender and calypso or something like that All right, because those are scents that will help you relax so i use the dove lavender scent that is my must to go but when they don't have it again my go-to will be the dove anti-stress blue camelite and oatmeal scent if i also i didn't run up with me but i also use the um summer eve lavender scent vagina by um wash that that's what i use to set up the tone in the bathroom go to the so i wash my face with a brand called limited beauty i hope i'm pronouncing that right and it's a exfoliating cleanser and the reason i use this one is because it's formulated with camelai strack green tea strack and bioactive fruit complex and it smells amazing the smell is really amazing and i totally love it so i look for things that are scented with scents that are going to relax me my body i this is my go-to anything from the bath and body works i use the aromatherapy on um, brand and um with essential oils and i use the lavender vanilla ultra hydration body cream along with the lavender vanilla sleep aromatherapy body lotion but the body lotion has shea butter and vitamin e and then the body cream has shea butter and hyaluronic acid so i use both of those together and i rub it all over my body because it smells so prior to doing everything i just told you i go grab my hideaway brand room and linen mist and this one has lavender and rosemary you just, it has essential oils lavender essential oils and i just sprayed this all over my bed i will pull my blankets down i put it on my pillow on my bed on my sheet um and i spread some in the air it gives this scent to the room that it's amazing now if i got a candle again i look for the candles that are lavender lavender calypso or just calypto itself or something kind of like the one i show you where it has that nice smell to it because i think my deodorant has to be lavender scent or powder scent because those scents again are relaxing i do that if i don't feel like falling asleep yet i head over and pick up my face mask and i just set it up in my head just you know so when i'm ready to go to sleep i could just put it down but i will pull some music in here this is wireless as well and you can set your phone and listen to podcasts and lately i've been listening to positive mindset um podcasts and anything that has to do with self worth um i do the same thing if i don't do that yet then i head over for my wireless headphone but i also got i'm a family dollar and i only pay like 15 so 15 and 10 dollars. you cannot beat it 
There is nothing more nerve-wracking than setting up a tone for relaxation, working really hard to be relaxed in order to transition to go to bed, and then when you're finally going to sleep, you can fall asleep, not because of what you did, but because what you have on does not work with the occasion. And now you're spending the whole night trying to fix a wedgie up your ass, trying to fix a strap, or trying to fix a nightgown because you didn't took the time to make sure that what you was wearing to fall asleep on was comfy enough to do so. So please keep that in mind. Make sure that what you go to bed to sleep on, it is comfortable enough for you. So you will be able to stay sleeping through the whole night and not worry about those issues. Let's just recap a little bit on what we talk in this video. So I let you know from the beginning that you need to prioritize your sleep. You need to create a schedule for it. You can be able to be you know focus you'll be able to concentrate and you'll be able to be productive in your everyday life whatever that might be i also gave you tips on what i do in order to set the tone to be able to fall asleep at ease this is not just about it's nine o'clock i'm gonna go under the blankets and fall asleep you have to work very hard into adapting your brain into habits that you are going to be created, that are going to be productive in order to help you into that deep sleep and to get the best of it. Okay guys, so that is it for me. I totally enjoy making this video for you guys. I hope you also enjoy watching. Please give it a like. And if you're not part of this family, do so by joining, by hitting the subscription button. I would love to have you here. Being that said, again guys, thank you for watching and I'll see you in my next video. Ciao.